Today they're just doing a bunch of the wiring. They've measured off a lot of the wires, cut them, crimped them, and now they are wiring everything up in here. Thank you, sir. Are we doing it from the top? No, we're doing it from the side. Lots of technical stuff going on in here. I don't know what all it is, but it looks really cool. And the top first. So, how do you think it's going out there? Very well. Yeah? Yes. You and Scout are supervising? Yes, we're the foreman. Making sure everything yeah. goes well? Yeah. Okay. And aesthetically pleasing. Yeah, Leslie's like paying attention to like whether they're mounting things level, it's evenly spaced, make sure the wiring is not or crossed in the wrong in. spots. And that's that's what Leslie's. That's what I look at yeah. when I see systems. I'm <laughs> like, just hope it works properly. And Leslie's like, but it's got to be pretty. Yeah. <laughs> and Scout's like, I don't care. We ran into our first issue. The inverter controller had an issue with grabbing the, the wire. When it goes in, there's a little mechanism that's supposed to grab hold of the wire. It wasn't grabbing it properly. And so they had to uninstall it. That's where it was right there. Um, but now Todd has the uh, the crew wiring up a new one. Uh, luckily, these things are under warranty because they're brand new out of the box. So uh, they're buttoning up that old one, putting it back away, and then we'll get the new one wired up and put in here. Are you picking my nose with that in the photo? Because I feel like that's what you're doing. <laughs> I can't wait for this video. <laughs> well, we've been working so hard yeah. that we figured we'd take a break, walk around a little bit, explore the Texan RV park, because we're going to be back here in a couple weeks for the uh, Alliance Owners Empowerment class, or Fundamentals. And uh, so we're taking Scout out for a, for a little walk. Found a little part of the pond here that he might be able to swim around in if he, uh, if he wants to. We don't want to take them off in the main part. There's some pretty big catfish in there. I don't want them to get swallowed up or anything. So, uh, But he's out enjoying the, the sunshine, and we're enjoying a break. All right. We got some stuff done today. What? Uh, <laughs> we got some stuff done, man. Yes. It doesn't look like a whole lot, but it's, it's more than what it looks like. Yeah. I don't know the technical term to anything. Okay. But all this got connected. Yep. And these got installed. Yep. And uh, all this got plugged into the multiplex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they did a bunch of wiring. They, um, they built all of the positive wiring today, and then they connected all the wires. Uh, we did have an issue with the multiplex to the inverter. Yeah. Uh, one of the wires wasn't grabbing when it was plugged in, and so they replaced that and yeah. fixed it. I don't know if they replaced it or fixed it. Fixed it. And then um, they did a load test. Yeah. So they disconnected us from shore power and had us start a few things in the mm -hmm. RV to make sure that nothing was heating up too terribly bad, which was really cool because they did a thermal test. That was cool. Thermal camera test. I, I want one of those. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome because it, it tells you if something's heating up too much or yeah where the hot spots are if something's not tightened down it might heat up so yeah. that was really cool too and then they did the firmware update mm -hmm. on the uh multi plus two on the inverter and um it so yeah how to program it and stuff and now and they put the solar panels up top yes you want to go gonna, look yes i do all right let's go look okay well so what do you think is it, is everything up to your standards Yes. Because I know, see, Leslie gets twitchy. She gets twitchy when things don't line up properly, if they're a little crooked or just, or just any little thing that's off, and she'll be like, ooh, that's going to bug me. And you would think that that wouldn't bother her because it's on the roof and she doesn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there. Yeah. <laughs> Even though I know those panels are hanging a little off the roof, overshadowing the um, the awning. Yeah. But the awning will will hide that, so I won't, I won't yeah. like look up and see well, it. Well, the problem was is the one had to get pushed out because yes. it was so close to the air Fair conditioner, piece. so it had to get pushed out. So when I came up here earlier to see how it was going on the install, yes. uh, and they were bringing the other panel up, he asked me, "Do you want it moved in off of the roof, or do you want it to hang off also?" And I said, well, both of them on that side, it, it will look weird if one's hanging off and one's not, and then she'll get twitchy. That would make me twitchy. So I said, move it out. Even yeah. though it didn't need to be moved out, I said, yeah. move it out and line it up with the first one. Yeah, because at least it runs 
So Smooth see, line. you're welcome for that. And I didn't even come down and consult. Very ballsy. Yeah. I'm, like, I'm going to say that. It was, that was a bold ballsy. strategy. It was. it was a bold strategy. It was bold. But hey, it worked out. It did. Yeah, and it, and it looks good. They did a really good job yes. up here. Well, it's day three, four. Day three or four, I don't know. When you're living inside this bay, it's like all the days run together. You don't even realize what day and night. But uh, today they're really just finishing everything up. They're getting everything cleaned up, tidied up, and then they're gonna I think they're gonna teach us how to use all the stuff, the monitor, all the system, and uh, learn how all the settings work and all that stuff. And they were they were learning programming this morning in the classroom, and now I think they're putting it into practice. And uh, so we got a, we got a, the whole crew down here getting it all finished up. All right, here comes the fun stuff. Put it all back. It is fun to me. All right, you gonna model it for me? This is what we got. This is this is it. Everything's in there. We got. Uh, it. We don't have a lot of stuff. We downsized a lot. I'm proud of us. Yeah. And so there's still plenty of room around the setup. Nothing's gonna bump into it, bang into it, hurt it. This is, uh, this is everything. Um, now that's just down here in the storage bay and then yeah. you know, of course when we're set up, you know, like the flag poles They'll be up, you know, the garden flag will be up The, the stabilizers stabilizer will be up yeah. and then the those you know welcome mat the Yeah, those will come down for the stable for the stabilizers the Valterra stabilizers And so a lot of this won't even be in here once we get to a campground and get set up Yeah um, in the front, we really took advantage of this. I mean, we've always had our propane up here, but we took our scooters, which we normally keep in the in the uh, back, seat. back seat of the truck on the floorboard, and we put them in here, and we got all Scout stuff. So we have Scout stroller and his little outdoor habitat, uh, the little chainsaw, all my wood burning stuff is in here. So we have. Uh, I'm so glad that thing is gone. Yeah, that, that box really was freed it up. Yeah, and then on this side, this is just all of our all of our maintenance stuff. I have. You know, our hose, our blue tech, and then all of our black coast stuff and our hose support, water softener. So when we're set up, this will be out oh, of the rig. This will be out of the rig. That'll be out of the rig. Those will be out of the rig. The the hose support will be out of the rig. Really, all you're going to see in here is these two bins here and then our box of, of gloves down there. But really, man, when we get when we get fully set up at a campsite, we're not going to have that much in here. No. Most of the stuff will be back out. Yeah. Very proud. Yeah. We did good. I like. Yes. Yeah, the one thing we thought we forgot about was the Starlink, which is running outside right now, but I it'll go in here too. Fit in. Yeah, there's plenty of space. I mean, look at this whole empty gap right here. Yeah. Where we can put stuff still. Yeah, and I might shift this bin over there on travel day and put the Starlink right here. Yeah. We'll get it all worked out. Yeah, still plenty of room to make it happen. All right, so let me see how much you remember. Oh, Lord. How many amp hours of battery do we have and how many watts of solar do we have installed? Okay. Well, the batteries are 280 each. Times three? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's what? 246? 840? Yes. Okay. 840. 840. Eight, <laughs> it's been a long week, yeah. people. 840, 840 amp, amp, hours amp hours of battery and... and 1340 of solar. Yes, 1340 watts. So we have um, four 335 watt panels. Yes. Up top. And you know, we have the one uh, inverter, 3000 watt inverter. Mm -hmm. And so basically, what we can do is off grid, no hookups, we can run almost like we're running 30 amp service. Almost. Almost. Yeah. Like we can run an air conditioner, we can run a microwave, we can run. The water heater we can run we can run almost anything just not all at the same time Coffee maker yeah. yeah so we had to be strategic about turning stuff off before we turn other things on which is basically what we do on 30 amp anyway it is we just got to be a little more careful with this yeah and so we're headed over back over to lake Tawakini, and we're gonna even though we have hookups over there we're gonna unhook we're gonna unhook and we're gonna see what we can do yeah and we need to really do it in conjunction with our water too we need to figure out yes. we need to figure out like if we were how many days can we do it comfortably yes you know with comfortably comfortably because we still want to take showers not super long showers but we still want to take showers we still want to do all the things yeah we want to be comfortable if it's warm out we want to be able to run an air conditioner yes um but we do have the generator that will yes. top off the batteries at night and really so during the day you can run your generator it's not a big deal mm -hmm. but 
this system is get you through the night. Yes. This is a get you through the night system. And then during the day, night the solar two. will charge it all back up and yeah. then you get through the night again. Exactly. So just survive the night. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Survival of the fittest. Yeah. And um, Todd told us, mm -hmm. I mean, day one of install, oh, yeah. well, he said, yeah. you are going to be back. Yeah. For more. He said, this is like cocaine, man. Yeah. It's like addictive. You're going to want more power. You're going to want... Even the guys in the class, as they were working on yeah. it, were like, I foresee you wanting more. Yeah. Well, there's After a, lot... a couple months, you're going to want to come back and get some more batteries. Yeah, a lot of the guys in the class have setups. Yeah. And they started small, and they've all added on. And so they're like, yeah, you're going to be, you're going to be wanting more. You're going to be back. Yeah. So we'll see. It's like the tattoo... Yeah. scenario once you get one you you're like want ooh, another. that's you're cool your next one yeah yeah but with this it's like ooh, that's cool to be able to run stuff, stuff. it'd be really cool if i could run some more stuff, stuff. <laughs> yeah so yeah. we'll see yeah we'll see how it goes i don't think i don't think power is going to be our issue anymore no i think water water consumption, conservation is my yeah, problem that's going to be the biggest <laughs> issue for us that's my next hurdle. Yeah, so we'll take you along with us mm -hmm. on this trial run. Yeah. And we'll see how long we can comfortably. I'm hoping for three to four days. Yes. That's what I'm hoping for. Three for sure. If we could push it to four, that'd be great. Mm -hmm. I'm happy. I'm happy with the setup. I'm happy with the I job. Too. That this, it's that very they pretty. Did. It it's, is. It's aesthetically pleasing. Yeah, Leslie's not twitching. Nothing's crooked. No. Nothing and, looks off. And it was funny because the. The multi plus was slightly crooked. Yeah. And then when they were struggling to get things plugged in underneath, they couldn't actually do it. So they're like, let's take it off and plug it in and then put it back on. They put it on straight. And it's straight now. So, uh, yeah. So, so well, she's all better. Mama happy. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Hey, uh, stick around for a few seconds. We're going to honor a fallen hero. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans out on the road, everything you need to know is right down in the description. Yep. Uh, if you want to follow along and see how crazy this <laughs> all gets, hit the subscribe button and we will be showing you a lot of probably more of what not to do that's right but but it'll be entertaining that's right <laughs> if nothing comical yeah <laughs> all right we'll see you next time <laughs> bye